I wondered what my mother would say to me. She must have been worried. I had spent an entire day with Sam without thinking much about my mother at all. I didn't mean to do anything wrong. I want her to understand that I wasn't a little girl anymore. Her overt concern could be too much sometimes. I'm home. Mother? I looked around the kitchen. The kitchen was spotless. All the dishes were put away. I saw that there was no food left out for me. It seemed as if my mother had gone out or was already asleep. She usually would be watching her dramas at this time. I hope she wasn't too worried about me. A door opened. My mother came out of her bedroom. She did not look pleased. Chung Fong Ha. Where have you been? I'm sorry I've come home late. Do you know how worried I was? I'm sorry. I was about to call the police. It wasn't anything. Please, I'm not a child anymore. Don't worry about me so much. Not a child? You're my daughter. How can I not be worried about you? Why don't you listen to me sometimes? Was it a boy you were with? Why are you so quiet? Answer me. I wasn't with a boy. Then what is it? What made you become such a misbehaved girl these days? What? It, it's nothing. Nothing. You never used to be like this. Where did you get those clothes? Huh? I, I borrowed them. Borrowed? I'm, I'm still the same mother, it's just, they're... What is it? I can't tell you. <laughs> Your father in heaven would be disappointed in you. <sighs> I can't see it, but he can see what a second-hand woman you've become. Second-hand? I... Why can't you just mind your own business? What? You're talking back? I wanted to trust you, but I know you've been lying to me this whole time. How can I keep holding my tongue when you're out there ruining your own life? What would your father think about this? I'm telling you all this for your own good. Huh? That's... How can you use my father to guilt me like this? Guilt you? Isn't it the truth? I've always been a good daughter. I've been diligent in my studies and I've always given my best effort at work. I've done everything to make you and father proud of me. How can I be happy when you're like this? When you're suspicious of everything I do? Your happiness? Why should you be unhappy? I'm the one hurt by you. You're still hiding something from me right now. Why can't you just trust me? Why do you have to control what I do? Not when you're behaving like this. The way you are is suffocating me. Huh? <laughs> suffocating? How dare you talk back to me? You think by being with a man for a night you can suddenly talk back to your mother? What? Why do you keep insinuating this? If you want to know so badly, yes, I was with someone. Tell me, who is he? What's he like? Is he educated? Wh what? I was with another woman. A another... another woman? What? Is he married? An affair? No. I was together with a woman. We're... together. As lovers. Oh. Oh, shit. Huh? Mother, I'm... Oh my god. I'm... <laughs> oh my god. Huh? Lesbian? <laughs> How could I ever tell you that so easily? That... That I'm... The words choked in my throat. <sighs> Mother? Was it HKU? 
Was I a bad mother? What did I do to make you turn out like this? M mother? I, I can't look at you right now. Mother? I... I will go. Yikes. Yikes. That one really threw me off guard. I grabbed a few things and I quickly left the house. Our argument happened so quickly. We had said so much in that heated moment. I was ashamed. Not of myself, but for making my mother feel hurt. I... I couldn't explain why I got so upset at my mother. I should have been upset at myself. No! You totally did the right thing. I was honest to Sam, but I couldn't be honest to my mother. I kept lying to her. That was why she was so hurt. But I'm not sure if I could ever go back to my mother. I'm not sure if it was the right thing to have told her the truth. She was in such a shock. My old mother's heart is old and traditional. How could she ever accept this part of me? She must feel ashamed and disappointed in me. I'm sorry. If my father was still here, I'm sure he would be upset that I've been become something of scorn to my mother. And he too. He would be ashamed of what I've become. I want my parents to be proud of me, but I just can't... I can't be everything for them. <sighs> yeah, that line hit me hard. I can't be the daughter my mother wanted. I can't be the one who will make her proud. Meeting Sam and being apart from her made me realize that I couldn't go back on the love that I found. I was happy when I was with her. I was truly myself. I couldn't go back on that. Shouldn't have to hide what I, I did for the sake of my mother's comfort. I couldn't leave Sam again. I thought of my mother's words. It repeated in my mind. How she treated me was much too harsh. Instead of anger or resentment, what I felt was a bitter sadness. Hot tears poured from my eyes. I've become their disappointment. I didn't want to second guess myself again. What I did wasn't wrong, right? I just know I couldn't go back to my mother. I felt so guilty and ashamed to have caused her this pain. How could I ever face her again after this? I cried alone outside. The familiar street no longer felt like a part of the welcoming neighborhood that I once knew. I wasn't sure what to do. I had recently gotten Sam's number, but would it be alright? Would she be alright if I imposed on her? The conflict I had with my mother was mine alone. I shouldn't have to involve her in this. I had all my bank cards. I'm sure I could find a temporary place to stay. As I was looking through my bag, I felt someone tap on my shoulder. Michelle? Huh? Sam, you're still here? I thought it might be good to wait on standby. Oh, Sam. Are you alright, Michelle? You're all teary. What happened? I... I can't go back home. Michelle... I got in an argument with my mother, and I, I said too much. My mother, she, I, Michelle, I'm sorry. It's because of me, right? No, it's not you. It's... I can't speak for everyone, but I've been through something like this before. It was really difficult, I know. 
but it'll be okay. It'll take some time, but it'll be okay. Will it? Will it really? It will. It will be better. Maybe not tonight. Maybe not tomorrow, but it will someday. I can't go back home anymore, though. I don't know if I could ever go back. Michelle. I'm really sorry. I don't know why it has to be like this. What should I do? If it's alright with you, you can stay with me. I don't know. I don't want to burden you. It won't be. I don't want to force onto you my own problems. It's not just your own problem to face alone. I'm here for you. You're really important to me. I understand your situation. Not everyone can understand so easily. It's not easy. I'm really sorry that it had to be this way for you. But you're not alone. We can figure this out together. I care for you. Don't feel as if you have to take this all by yourself. I don't understand why this has to happen. I'm sorry. I really don't want to bother you. Don't be sorry. Do you still want to be with me? I do. Please be with me. I need you right now. I'm here with you. Let's... Let's look forward to something better. Your mother will understand someday. She loves you. It'll be different someday, I'm sure. It'll be alright. Sam... Can I go back with you tonight? Yeah. Let's hail a cab. Thank you, Sam. We hailed a cab back to Sam's place. I cried on her shoulder the whole car ride back. I started living together with Sam after this. And so began a new chapter in my life. Several months have passed since that confrontation with my mother. I tried a few times to call her, but every time I heard the phone sound, I found myself hanging up after the first ringtone. I couldn't bring myself to speak to my mother yet. The words I had planned out in my head got stuck in my throat whenever I tried to call her. I didn't know what to say to her. I wanted to apologize, but at the same time I couldn't. I tried to go see my mother, going as far as the doorstep of my old house. Even then, I could not bring myself to enter through the front door. All I could do for my mother at this time was to leave some groceries for her at the door. Her hip has always bothered her, and without me, she might have... She might have difficulty carrying... <sighs> Sorry. Carrying heavy loads of groceries. She doesn't have my father with her to take care of her anymore. She only has me. I was cowardly. But I don't regret what I've done. Still, I could not shake the feeling of guilt and shame entirely. I'm sure my mother must be worried about me even now. What I did had hurt her. I must be a continual source of shame and disappointment for her. It's complex. The relationship I have with my mother has always been complex. All my life I tried to make her happy. During that moment of argument, I could not bring myself to keep lying to her. I couldn't lie to myself any longer either. We had to face the truth. I did not ask my mother to accept or understand me. I simply wanted her to let me be. When she outright rejected and shamed me, it had hurt so much. My mother had not contacted me at all since then. I was afraid she would never want to see me again. I was saddened and I felt guilty that I caused her this pain. Nonetheless, I have to keep going forward with my own life. I have to be true to my own happiness. <sighs> 
since I started living with Sam, a lot has changed for me. I never thought in a hundred years that I would change jobs. But with Sam's encouragement, I applied for an editor position within the same company where I worked. Huh. And to my surprise, I got the position. <laughs> Good for her. My coworkers and boss were all supportive of the change. Writing was something I wanted to do since I was in school, but I didn't have the confidence to pursue it then. It can be quite challenging work at times, but I enjoy the creative freedom that comes with my new work. I have to say I'm quite pleased with the way things are progressing with my career. Sam too had experience of few changes. Her store was getting busier, and she finally gave in to the advice of hiring someone to help her out at the store. It's given her more time to work on her personal projects with Film Archival. The past week she was able to get a local theater to screen an older French film, Olivia. I had a classmate who studied French, so we were able to put together the subtitles for it. I think it's wonderful that, little by little, we're able to move forward together in achieving our goals and dreams. This year for Sam's birthday, I got her a film camera. It was the new Minolta camera that came out. She doesn't know it yet. I want to surprise her with it. Photography was another passion of hers that I want her to explore more of. I like her photos. I think she has a talent. She likes to take photos of the city and capture the moment in time whenever we are out. I just noticed the stuffed animal on Sam's bed. Oh, God. <sighs> That's so cute. Sam had been using a disposable camera this whole time, and I thought it'd be nice for her to have her own camera for once. She likes to say that it's not the quality of the camera, but the subject and the viewfinder that mattered most. But I think Sam would be happy with the gift. I know it was a little expensive, I really want to encourage her with her talents like she's done for me. It'd be nice to look back on a photo album with all the pictures that we've taken together someday. I've adjusted to my new commute and routine. Sometime on, sometimes on my return trip from work, I'd stop by Sim's store if she's working. There would always be something or another happening in the neighborhood. Over the past few months, I've watched quite a number of Sam's movies. I can see why Sam enjoys collecting and curating her selection of films. There's a certain magic to film that can't compare to your own vision and imagination that comes from reading a novel sometimes. There's another movie that I watched with Sam that I quite like by the name of Carousel. I've cried just about every time I've watched it. I had asked Sam to put it on so much she said the tape could wear out any day now. I think she just doesn't want to watch it anymore with me though. I've tried a lot of new things with Sam. I gave it another chance and I went dancing with Sam. I became friends with a few girls from Ruby. I can understand why Sam respects and looks up to Cecilia so much. She takes good care of her staff and her friends. I learned a lot from her on too on how to manage professional business and personal affairs. I've hiked a few of the local mountains with Sam. I had even camped on the beach with her. Even if our schedules don't match up sometimes, we do our best to make up the time somehow. What I'm looking forward to now is to make it past the busy Christmas season. The days leading up to Christmas came and went by like a flash. Things were going well when on Christmas Eve during my Christmas work party, I got a call from the hospital. Oh no. It was regarding my mother. I was told on the, by the nurse on the phone that she was hospitalized. She had collapsed on the street. A passerby had found her fallen on the street and called an ambulance for her. The nurse said it was a severe case of pneumonia. I was beside myself with guilt. Was my mother suffering from sickness this whole time while I was happy and having fun with Sam? Of course, I didn't have any idea of her well-being, as I couldn't bring myself to see or even call her this whole time. I left a brief message on Sam's pager and immediately went over to the hospital where my mother was admitted. 
Mother? She's sleeping. She has an oxygen mask. I hope she's all right. Excuse me, are you Mrs. Chung's daughter? Yes, I'm her daughter. Is my mother okay? Yes, don't worry. She had a bad case of pneumonia affecting her breathing, but she'll be better soon after a course of antibiotics. I see. Have a seat. She was awake earlier, but she said she had been tired. I'm sure she'll be able to see you soon. I see. Thank you. When my mother had collapsed on the street, she must have been alone. How long did it take for a stranger to call an ambulance to escort her to the hospital? I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. I'm really sorry. I took a seat at her bedside. My mother slept soundly. I looked at my mother closely. She appeared older than I last remembered. It was undoubtedly my mother asleep in the hospital bed. Even asleep, my mother had a stern expression. I could recognize my mother alone by seeing her pursed lips. My mother had a natural frown, but it wasn't because she was a harsh person. She was diligent. She was prudent. She was a serious person. Years of work made her that way. I saw that my mother's perm was the same. She had worn the same hairstyle for as long as I could remember. But it surprised me how sunken my mother's eyes were. She had more wrinkles on her brow than I last remembered. She must have been extremely fatigued. My mother was a woman who would always paint her eyebrows and powder her cheeks before going out. Seeing her like this without her usual makeup was disconcerting. I never thought of her as a frail woman. Even with hip problems, my mother would never show her pain. It was painful to see my mother like this. I waited by her side. The regular beep of the machine monitoring her heart rhythm and respiratory rate was a soothing sound to my ears. There wasn't much I could do for my mother right at this moment. All I could do was wait for her to get better. Is she all? Excuse me. Sam, why are you here? I came as soon as I heard your message. Is everything okay? You didn't have to come. It's late now. Of course I'll come. How is your mother? The nurse said she'll be alright. She's been sleeping since I came, though. I see. I'm sure she'll be awake to see you soon. I brought flowers. I hope your mother will like them. Thank you. Have you eaten? Not yet. I, I left work as soon as I could. I'll get you something from the cafeteria. That's okay. We can get something to eat later if that's fine with you. Could I ask you to get me a coffee instead? Of course. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, Sam? Hmm. She had already left. I wanted to ask for some cream with the coffee. There's something about hospitals that make you feel quite exhausted. Perhaps it was the lighting or the atmosphere that drained away your energy. Oh well. I'm sure Sam would remember how I take my coffee. I wanted to be alert. I planned to stay as long as possible at the hospital, at least until my mother was awake. I heard a whisper. It was barely audible. Fung, huh? Mother? You don't have to get up. Here. It's cold. Wear my scarf. My mother cleared her throat. She spoke again. Her voice was thin but clear. <clears throat> Have you been eating well? You look thinner. I have. Don't worry about me. Please rest. You don't have to sit up. I'm sorry. 
I wasn't there for you. I'm really sorry. How's your work? It's going well. I changed jobs recently. Does it pay better? No, but it's something I enjoy more. I see. And you, mother? Is everything all right? I'm fine, except for this pneumonia. <coughs> I'm sorry. That girl earlier, is she? Oh, that that's right, she, she is. Michelle? I got coffee, but they only have milk instead of cream. Oh, excuse me. Ah, uh, Sam. <laughs> Mother, this is Sam. She's my... My friend. My girlfriend. Uh, good evening, Mrs. Chung. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that you're ill. I... I hope you're feeling better. Do you two live together? Yeah, we do. So, what do you do? Me, for work? Yes. Mother, you don't need to ask. You should be resting your voice. I'm only asking a simple question. Don't worry about it, Michelle. I own a video store in Moncock. Is business going well? Yeah, it's doing quite well right now. You look familiar. Do you do anything else? Mother? Oh. I get this question a lot. My mother used to be an opera actress quite a number of years ago. She wasn't that well known then, but people that know of her say that I could look quite like her. I see. Uh, really? I, I didn't know that. Have you eaten yet, Fong Ha? Not yet. You too should go eat. I'm tired. I want to rest. Oh. Alright. We'll come back up shortly. No, it's late. I want to sleep fully now. You can come by tomorrow. Mother. We'll visit you tomorrow, alright? Hmm. That's fine. I was terrified. I was holding my breath every time she was about to speak. You shouldn't be terrified of your own mother. I'm glad to see her in good spirits. I'm sure she'll be out of the hospital soon. I think so. Isn't she sharp as ever? There's so much judgment in every word that comes out of her mouth. I can see she cares about you a lot. Really? Do you feel better? It's been a while since that time. I don't know. I do feel somewhat better. I just hope things will be better between us. I'm sure it will. We can visit her again tomorrow. Let's have a lively Christmas party with her. I'll bring the karaoke box. She's not one for lively things, and I don't think the hospital will allow it. <laughs> I'm kidding about the karaoke box. But really, I think she was really happy to see you. Hmm. You really think so? Michelle. Michelle, don't cry. It'll be alright. Sam. We can visit her more often from now on. Do you think she's okay with me? I'm not sure. But she seems to have taken an interest in you. My mother doesn't usually ask about other people, so... I think it's not a bad start. That's good. Much better than you were thinking, right? I suppose so. I'm sorry, I let her ask you all those things. I got scared and froze up when she asked those 
ask those pointed questions. Don't worry about it. I'm sure those were things she wanted to know for a while now. She was just concerned for you. Please don't dislike my mother too much. She's just like that. I don't mind at all. My dad used to have such a bad temper with me. I can hardly believe that with how relaxed he is now. Right? I think you and your mother are alike in some aspects. Huh. Really? Really? Mm. Oh. What's that again about your mother being a theater actress? You never mentioned that to me before. Oh, that. It never really came up in conversation. Where did she perform? She was a traveling Cantonese opera singer for many years, though her dream was to become a film actress. She did end up starring in a few films in the 50s, but somewhere along the way she met my dad and had my brother. By the time I was born, she had already retired from film and returned to the theater, to the theater stage. But my mother had always kept her love of film, and she brought me with her to the theaters to see all kinds of movies throughout my childhood. I see. She's one of the reasons why I like collecting films. It's a small way of preserving the past for me. Sam. Hey, there's no need to cry over that. Let's eat before the food gets cold. Alright. Hey, why didn't you order the clubhouse sandwich? What about it? It's past 9pm. You're not worried about the carbohydrates in your rice dish. I'm starving. I want to eat a big bowl of rice. Show me some of your curry brisket too. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Here, um... Oh my god. Oh, that's so cute. When I think of my life, what I have, and what I've accomplished, I think I'm quite content with what it is. I have my mother and father to thank. I know I won't be where I am now without all the care and love they have provided me. So many things have happened in the past year. I discovered a life that I wouldn't have known if I hadn't taken the chance to be true to myself. Things are still difficult and life is not always rosy. What my mother feels about my relationship with Sam and how others will come to terms with my living situation. There are things beyond my control. I know I cannot expect everyone to be understanding. It's a continual struggle to feel accepted by everyone. But I'm ever hopeful. I have my own pride and dignity. If I betray myself first, then what meaning would integrity have at all for me? Gossip, scandals, and rumors are things that can destroy a person. But I can't let the influence of others affect my individuality and personal happiness. I didn't mean to hurt anyone. My actions were not malicious. All I want to do is live freely, without guilt and shame. I know if it wasn't for Sam, I couldn't be at all like this. I'm glad to have met her. Since meeting her, she has brought so much color into my life. I want to experience more things with her. I want to see the world with her. I can't help but wonder what the new year will be like for us. I'm sure things will be alright for us both. I know there will be uncertainty ahead of us, but it is the life that I have chosen for myself. <sighs> if my father is in heaven watching over me, I hope he can see this and be proud. a summer's end. A lot of this really hit home for me. Especially, uh, especially Michelle's living situation and, and her relationship with her mother. I had a bit of a similar experience a few years ago, but uh, I had my dad there to back me up. But yeah, that, that really hit home for me. I'm I'm glad I got to play this, and I really do love their relationship. It's... It's really nice. It's... It's really nice to see, like, a representation like this. 
I thought the story was really... It was really natural, it was organic. I, it felt like a real relationship. It was really... It was very sad in realism. And I enjoyed that. I felt that Michelle and Sam both had their... Their hesitations. Like something holding them back. Michelle, probably, her parents. And Sam... Think, she was always thinking about her mother and what she would have thought of her. But I'm glad they were able to truly experience their lives to the fullest. And <laughs> I'm really glad they're together, that's all. Yeah, I think the, the dream lady, she's probably like Sam's mother. At least that's what I think. Yeah, but I had a good time reading this, and... I enjoyed it. It ended the way I had hoped, so... I'm really glad about that. But yeah, that was a summer's end. So, yeah, thanks for experiencing this with me till the very end. Uh, like they say in the credits, I know Hong Kong is going through some tumultuous times right now in regards to human rights. I'm glad they added that in there because, yeah, this kind of experience is real. It happens all the time. Again, that was a summer's end. Thank you so much for watching it. I hope you enjoyed this series. I have been taking it slow, but hopefully there will be more visual novels and other games to come. Until next time, thank you again for watching. Please remember to take care of yourself, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.